Let's go, 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 let's go. This is good cat F3 model. Feels really good. Pedal assist all one, but the throttle looks like it can go up all the way to the top speed. We're gonna test it out. I'm not sure if it does. The brakes actually kind of noisy, but I got the bike with 20 miles on it. I don't know, they might be contaminated. I need to clean them, but I'll do it later on. I don't care. I like the when they loud, so it helps off-road riding and actually on the sidewalks but today i'm gonna ride the street so the first things i'm gonna do today the speed test i'm not sure if it's i'll put on pedal assist level 5 right away and i have it set to uh zero so basically we're gonna do the speed test right now first and also to check zero to 20 the speed at the same time right on display over here so one or oh, we can count yeah three two one go seventeen nineteen twenty twenty three on display twenty six on display twenty six on gps twenty eight on gps twenty nine on gps twenty twenty one on gps twenty two Nice acceleration, 33, 34, 35. Yeah, you need to be very careful with braking because it's very good. So we got 35 miles an hour on this stretch. Actually, it's very fast. 35 miles an hour for this small stretch. It's good. Now I'm going to try to pedal, but again, uh, pedaling will be kind of strange because I'll tell you when I'm gonna get ghost pedaling on the ghost cat so yeah ghost pedaling about 20 miles an hour so there's no really I'm just gonna move them on my feet slowly and going about 30 31 32 33 34 35 wow it's i didn't want to go that fast yeah it could go either past 35 but and the rear sh brakes are so good as well so you have to be really careful uh, i think uh, this is more like off-road tires so the street tires might be better for braking when you're riding the street so let's see how fast on pedal assist level one but again um pedal one see how comfortable to pedal it yeah it's uh again it's not the best pedaling experience gonna be as emo pet style doesn't matter like whoever say anything but and it's going fast basically because they really the uh, limit so if you get the stock bike with no setting uh, uh, changed it will go only 20 miles an hour so your pedal assist will work totally different so there is no point even to check all this pedal assist level because you won't be able to pedal past pedal assist level one if your settings is unlimited like mine but i'll check if i can actually pedal the bike with no power at all because sometimes it's very good to know and i put on pedal assist on gear number three open a little bit it's kind of hot almost 90 degree now <laughs> ridiculously hot today gonna be so it's um, eight months now and the pedal actually not bad at all um the stability of the bike is great so the things i know that the brakes are amazing and that's something actually brings the danger when you're braking because you need to be very careful when you're braking because that's what i saw before on expo some people fall because of the braking because 
the brakes works great you need to learn how to brake even me as i said before forgetting which one so re one on the left and the right one so i'm gonna turn on the bike because yeah it's a uh, you can pedal it with no power pretty smooth for the 80 pounds electric bicycle the battery is about almost 12 pounds so it's pretty light i guess for this power because the motor is very heavy because it does have a lot of torque so let's go for the hill test and the additional speed test 23 32 miles an hour 34 based on GPS it's pretty much accurate to GPS looks like 35 the car was going to cut me oh. so oh, okay emergency behind me so I stopped uh, in the hamlet, full ha face hamlet, very hard to hear anything so that's why I couldn't even hear a little bit and I see the cars are stopping so let's go more and I'm gonna try with the cars over here kind of between bike lane and car lane because if somebody opens the door that's gonna be bad 34 so far thirty-five so it's stable thirty-five miles an hour with uh, about 14 feet I'm gonna slow down over here with rear brake so the braking are kind of uh, depends on the tires, but again, it's locking the wheels very strong and I trying slowly pushing not even hard So I'm good, but as I can feel like it's just Stopping right away never have actually bike like this before Because the bike it's light weight. I'm pretty heavy actually, but still it just Burning the tires on the rear and that's why people braking with the front to get better uh, braking so the bike does have a lot of torque, but we're gonna find out now if this torque good uphill puller <laughs> because uh, this hill is not easy hill. It can burn the motor controller, and that's another good torture test. It's about. 85 90 degree right now so it's uh, early morning so it's not as hot as uh, gonna be but still we'll see and i use mostly throttle on this bike i'm not planning to pedal this bike at all in the future that's why i'm saying it's a little motorcycle type and 35 miles an hour that's pretty good actually for this price range so I'm gonna stop here as always and uh, pedal is just level 5 so it's all the way to the top and go on. So far it's 14, 17 miles an hour, 18 and let's see if we'll slow down 20. So I can say 1000 watt motor usually up to 10, oh no 9 I think and it's so far it's 50 miles an hour. I think uh, God bike, the last one upgraded motor God went up to 80 miles an hour to this hill. But there was no hub motor which went more than 10 miles an hour and I'm like impressed it's 13 miles an hour. Oh yeah, 13 miles an hour, 14. Well, I would say it's very solid 30 miles an hour based on GPS, I go with GPS, so maybe it's in half. So just give you an idea how steep the hill is. It's actually very steep. Um, I'm not gonna stop here. We're, we're gonna do some more torture test. 
Uh, yeah, it's like a ship sounds. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's a good. Uh, I mean, it's very loud. I think it's the brakes. I usually don't complain about brakes, but hey, I got this bike with 20 miles. I don't know what they did to it, way they rode it, but it might be contaminated. So contaminated means you need cleaning the disc and the pads. And also you need to bed it. So I don't think they would bed it, this bike. So, so you need to do all this in order to avoid all this noises. But again, I don't really hear well in the helmet. So I don't really care. But what I'm gonna do, so the, I can tell you the torque power is amazing on this bike. About exactly what I expect from 1500 watt motor but the only things i forgot to do to check how much peak power so what we're gonna do now we're gonna do torture test we're gonna go back right now down and do one more time <laughs> i think there's only one bike who were able to do a few times at the same time without breaking down it was a good bike but they're different i can tell you right away totally different experience you get different shocking okay the braking is good even going on the steep hill and if i want to i can basically st stop right away almost but the rear tire would just slide burning but front brake that's why people using front brake if you do front brake it's stop much better of course but you have to be very careful when you do both with the front braking it's very need to be experienced skilled to do that and remember which one is front which one is rear but oh my god it's almost getting wheelie if i want to easy one more test non-stop and then i'm gonna pay attention to the peak power to see how much peak power 54.6 watt in, on the battery so i got 1800 right now 1890 so i don't know if i'll hit ever 2000 peak maybe i will not so 1825 it's amazing it's keep going on 40 miles now i never saw any gears hub motor which would go that fast on this mountain so the 18 yeah 60 so around 13 miles an hour again with no air codes nothing let's go further so it's about one and a half more power than any 1000 watt motor so compared to rev one rave uh, rave gtx model rave x model was thousand watt motor the one x v2 all of them would not make more than nine miles an hour on this hill i don't know about rev uh, i never test them but i would not i think they are only 1000 watt motor so it'll give you an idea how powerful this a little beast is so this beast comes with really 1500 watt motor with nice controller because so far the only brakes loud which is good part are there's more hills we're gonna ride we're gonna go downhill over here and then i'm gonna go back to uphill we're gonna do some torture to this bike I want to see the reality how bad situations they can hold because I will go from not flat somewhere middle of the hill another hill so this only one bike actually could make it uh, around like riding with non-stop all the hills that's why I'm saying this bike is like a little soron I would say most likely because of the comfortability the seat okay i would not say it's super comfortable but i would rate it like maybe eight on the 10 scale but if you upgrade it to the type a you might get 10 out of 10. so it does comes about up to 1800 peak power but the speed it just keep pulling same exactly power very similar very close to the good bikes 
the Ritz Lake. I can tell you that the first batch of uh, motor goat when I got it was going up to this hill about I'm gonna turn right it was going about 15 miles an hour the top speed I was very impressed because there was no bike I ever tested that went to this hill as fast after I upgrade the controller all the new batches would be it's the same now it went up to 80 miles an hour so it's more power of course but this bike much cheaper now more affordable much lighter and you get totally different experience i'm gonna tell you what's the difference so you know which bike will be fit to you because i'm not here to promote one bike versus another one i provide you all the information which will make your decision better and because some people buying wrong bicycle unhappy so i want you to buy the bicycle will fit you your needs so the brakes might get better eventually once it's um is a burnout all this uh contamination oil somebody touched maybe the disc with the fingers i don't know like maybe somebody ate hamburger and touched it i don't know but hey um I'm gonna stop somewhere and I'll talk to you about but we're gonna go for more right so it takes bumps very nicely I'm not gonna do any jumps today I'm gonna take it off-road for sure because this bike it should be monster for off-road riding and I'm just gonna go on again to the same mountain from beginning and I'll talk to you about this so this bike is hill eater for probably one of the best you can buy today on the market for the price also for discount i have so it will be only two thousand dollars for this bike today until august 5th and you just sit and ride it it's basically don't need any new upgraded fork it does not need upgraded rear shock if you want some nice bouncy um, and it's just keep pulling it's not giving up 18 miles now on this hill <laughs> and about 17 peak power and I never saw 2000 peak power marked but I'm not complaining because it's not only about peak power it's about the torque how much torque so I'm gonna stop somewhere here so here's my experience so far I'm gonna take it off-road for sure because I like how it's uh, bouncy so you do get real nice bouncy uh, rear shock with nice swing arm going up and down over the, all the bumps I didn't feel any bumps when I was riding as you can see it's the fork at least 80 millimeters okay travel so it and it's soft and it's like butter soft moving up and down so it's can be adjusted firmer if you want to and I weigh 215 pounds so if you're lighter you're gonna adjust a bit make it smoother like softer so full adjustable let's touch the controller box it's warm but it's not hot at all nice to the feeling the motor actually not hot at all so I rode like a few times already in the hill in front of you usually bicycle uh, would not hold this torture in 90 degree riding in uphills they will get some error messages get overheated controller motors messed up the motors so the motor is really powerful never have experience with uh, this type of motor like from this brand but looks like solid well-built motor so what is the most important part on the bicycle when you buy motor and battery as a power wise and of course controller so it comes with the largest controller for this price range also it does have very performance nice wise uh, the shock and the fork and then very important to have a best brake they come so basically we got everything so the person who built the bike design it and Kevin he kept in mind to use it by for himself so basically when you're buying bicycle like this it's very similar to the bicycle you're gonna build for yourself with all the performance parts so and again you get customer service from USA without battery will be under 70 
I actually put in my trunk to bring the bike home when I pick it up and you can fit it in any sub or any truck so it's you don't even need to have a rack it's very compact everything on this bike is just so perfect setup and I guess that's all for today I hope you like this video don't forget to hit like subscribe to see the off-road video because I'm gonna make off-road video for sure and if you have any questions please comment below because I'm gonna make video follow up to answer all your questions when I'm gonna go off-road and also if you need to buy one of the bike use the code discount in description this way you support me and the channel I guess thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye